It is my pleasure to present to you Mr. Chris Norwood, who will take us on a virtual tour of black art, black artists, for this year's Black History Month. I actually own and operate a art gallery uh, called the Historic War Rooming House at Historic Overtown. We have a show here at Town Hall called Obsidian Art Legacy. It is a showcase of African-American masters of, of art. Uh, the artists that are here are historic black artists. Uh, many of them are from the post-World War I era. I chose these artists because I think they represent uh, the foundational uh, uh, canon of African-American art. Uh, so for instance, Henry Tanner was the first internationally recognized African-American artist. He moved to Paris in the 1880s so that he could actually practice his craft without the legacy of, of discrimination and lived there for the rest of his life. And so we, act, we have a painting, an original painting of his work that is on display here. And so that is a foundational uh, piece of work and a, and, and a foundational artist of the genre. Ernie Barnes, his image called Sugar Shack, which a lot of people recognize from the credits of Good Times, is, I would, I would say, the, the most recognizable piece of art depicting black culture ever. Unfortunately, most people don't recognize it as a painting, but it is a painting. Also, John Bigger's piece called a Jubilee Ghana Harvest Festival, I think is very powerful. It's the piece actually right behind me now. That is a powerful piece that's universal, although it's, it's showing uh, an African, uh, African community celebrating the harvest, that is a universal theme in all cultures of celebrating the harvest season. And I thought that's easily identifiable. Um, and that's important. The images that we're showing are done maybe about African Americans, but they are universal. We're showing the connectivity um, and, and the sense of pride in one's culture, which really should bring you awareness and sensitivity to other people's cultures. Art is the soul of a people. And I believe that the, the appreciation for art and culture, when you have that of your own culture, it only connects you to other people. History of black folk is whatever we're doing today, just like the history of, 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 of someone from Puerto Rico is what they're doing today. And so we don't want to be locked into what it means to be black or what people think that means. It can mean whatever it is. That's called freedom. And when you're free and you express liberty, you're making history every day. So we have a piece here called In Remembrance, which is a, a painting that was done during 9-11. Uh, he was doing a painting around homelessness and he was inspired to change that painting and make it, uh, make it about the patriotism even of homeless people. And so the painting depicts a group of homeless people around the rubbish of 9-11 in Manhattan and they're all saluting and paying homage to an American flag that someone raises up. Ernie Barnes decided to license a hundred limited edition prints, uh, limited edition lithographic prints, hand signed by Ernie Barnes, and to raise money for firefighters that participated in the 9-11 rescue mission. And we have that here on display. And I thought that was very important to show that here because this is a public building, it's about public service, and I think that piece really speaks to, to, to that. On behalf of the Cultural Affairs Committee, thank you for joining us on this year's virtual tour in celebration of Black History Month.